Hey, my name's Rob. I get to serve here as one of the pastors at Eastern Hills. And having just gone through this process myself, I know what it's like sitting on the other side of the screen with big questions. Why should I go and join this team? And, and why should I sign up to serve with this guy? A little bit about my story. I wasn't you know, fully Im immersed into the church until I was about 18 years old and grew up in, in a church culture. So I, I still remember stepping through the doors that first Sunday and, and seeing people raising their hands and clapping and celebrating and, and kind of being confused in what's going on and even listening to the message and hearing words that were new to me for the first time. And, and I felt very much like a, an outsider. So when I think about the opportunity of a creative arts minister stepping in, I'm passionate about serving with someone that gets that, that's gonna tell the story of who God is through all of the technical elements of lighting and video and, and moving from, from element to element to eliminate those distractions, to, to help us get clearer in how we communicate and what's happening happening in the services, to be able to tell powerful stories of life change through video that, you know, someone was destined to death and now they've been raised to life. Someone was trapped in addiction and now they found freedom in Christ, where someone was impacted by one of our strategic partners and that Syracuse is a better place because we're serving in our neighborhoods, in our communities. And so someone coming alongside us and being able to shape that narrative excites me. Now, we're in a unique chapter and a unique season in the, in the life of, of Eastern Hills as we transition from, a, from new leadership and what's next and some of the things that we're dreaming about, some of the things that we're excited about is this idea of a church that's known for what they're for rather than what they are against. And we envision a church that is for Central New York, a church that's showing up in hard places, that's seeing people as people and not projects and sharing the message of Christ in both a helpful and hopeful way. And then when, when we gather, that we're doing so with the guest in mind, where God's presence is experienced and expected and that those that are disconnected from God that they love to attend service. They might not sure, be sure in who God is. They, they might be post-church, de-church, and they might not even agree with it, but they enjoy it. And then when they show up on Sunday morning, they say, you know what, they thought about me. They don't use the, the churchy words and their stories because they've thought about me. And, and everything just, just makes sense and it's clear and it's done well because God has given us art and creativity to display his glory. And that's an opportunity that you'd be able to step into. Another thing that's true about Syracuse is that Syracuse is one of the, the least church places in, in the United States and that it's one of the least Bible-minded places. There's not a, enough healthy churches in the area. And yet we have Syracuse University in our own backyard. And it's one of the top communication places in the country. So there's all of this talent and giftedness that exists right in our own community that you'd get to speak into and, and hopefully step onto campus and build relationships and say, would you become a part of what's going on? at Eastern Hills. And so if that excites you, if that gets you fired up, I'm looking forward to meeting with you and, and answering the questions and what God might be doing in your heart and leading you to Syracuse and Central New York and Eastern Hills.